Jack Lascombe was studied for, well, not that long, to explain the strange movement of hot and cold air. This movement is called convection currents. In this video, he will be showing you two simple experiments to prove that this movement actually exists. Here is a diagram of water's atoms. In room temperature, some gravity pushes the atoms down, but some gravity also passes through the atoms. When the water is hot, it increases in size, so there's more space between the atoms. That means that less gravity pushes the atoms down, and more gravity passes in between it. When water is cold, on the other hand, it decreases in size, so there's less space between the atoms, and more gravity pushes it down. That explains why cold water gets pushed down and hot water can go up. The same goes for air. For the first experiment, you'll need two identical clear jars. You can also use mason jars or bottles, but you want the opening to be fairly small and you need both bottles to have the same sized opening. You'll also need a playing card, yellow food coloring, and blue food coloring. Finally, you'll need cold water, a kettle, and a clear tray. First, boil some water. And please plug it in, it doesn't work without it. Fill one of the bottles with boiling water. Fill the other one with cold water. Put some blue food coloring in the hot water. You only need about three drops and then put some yellow food coloring in the cold water. Place the playing card on top of the cold bottle. Flip it over and place it on top of the hot bottle. And slowly slide off the playing card. Here you can see that the colors mix, so that means that the yellow or the cold water goes down and the blue hot water goes up. Fill both bottles with hot and cold water and dye them like before. This time, place the playing card on the blue hot bottle and place it over the yellow bottle. Take out the playing card and observe. Here, the yellow cold water stayed down and the hot blue water stained up. In the first experiment, the cold that started up top went down, and the hot that started up down bottom went up. In the second experiment, the cold that started on the bottom stayed on the bottom, and the hot that started up top stayed up top. Using the info that we already got, we can conclude that hot water or air goes up, and cold water or air goes down. Here's another easy experiment that shows convection currents. You'll need a clear vase and make sure that it's rectangular or it doesn't work. A baster, I had a pretty large one but it works better if you have a small one. A lighter, two cans, empty, several candles, red and blue food coloring, and an ice tray. Fill the ice tray with cold water.
and then put one drop of food coloring in each ice cube. Let that freeze overnight. When it's done, it should look like this. Tear off the tabs from the cans, and be careful, because they can be sharp. Align the cans like so, and place the vase on top of them. Fill the vase three quarters of the way with room temperature water. Fill a glass with boiling water and add 10 to 15 drops of red food coloring. Place the candles under the vase and light them up. Using the baster, take some of the hot water and put it into the bottom of the vase. You can see the hot water go up. Place the blue ice cube in the top right corner and watch it melt. Since the water is cold, it goes down.